In our Flutter Flame game, Lena has a magical skateboard to save a boy and our world. The skateboard can go over water. It's a hoverboard. She needs to collect a certain amount of gems prior to the skateboard running out of power. She can only move left or right when the skateboard is on the ground. As soon as she hits the air, gravity and momentum will will take into effect. The hoverboard concept is from Back to the Future. Under lib, create a separate folder for the dashboard. So we will have at the top level of lib, in their lib, it's actors, world, and the new one is dashboard. We may have multiple dashboard components under the dashboard folder. So we'll create another file called dashboard.dart. And initially we'll put all the code here for the dashboard, but you can have a separate component for score or some type of settings if you wanted to. Create a stateless widget on VS Code, it's STL. Call the stateless widget dashboard. We're going to overlay this Flutter widget system on top of the Flame game. We're going to arrange it in a column and a system of rows. A row will contain the magic level as well as the charge on the hoverboard. Um, it's going to increment down over time. So within the row, let's create a piece of text so we can get things started. Let's just call it magic initially. Our first objective will just be to get the string magic to appear as an overlay on the flame game system. In the main.dart file, we're going to start working on the run app, which is really at the top of your application. In the method main, there is this run app from Flutter. Run app requires a widget. Currently, we're just passing it the game widget. Normally, you have a material app and a, usually a scaffold, although the scaffold is not required. We will use a scaffold here. So similar to a normal Flutter app, we're going to start off with the material app. And within that, we're going to have a scaffold. And the, the scaffold, as you know, it requires a body. Uh, not a child. So both the material app and the scaffold are a bit different. It's not a child. For the material app, it's a home. And for the scaffold, it requires the body. Then we're going to pass it the game widget. The game widget is from the Flame game system. And that is the main widget that starts off the Flame game system. Normally, it just passes the parameter game to start your game does offer you another parameter called overlay builder map. This is from the flame game system. So this parameter is within the game widget. The game widget requires a game. You can optionally pass it an overlay builder map. I have a typo here. It should be a key value pair separated by a colon not a semicolon, and that's the reason that it's all, it's all red here. The syntax of the Dart map um, is there's a key, which is a string, user-defined. Dashboard overlay is user-defined. On the other side of that is a function that we're going to have it return the main widget that we're going to use for the overlay system. We created the widget in the previous step. And that widget is the dashboard. In the line 25, once we replace the semicolon with a colon, it'll be more obvious that this thing is a dart map. It's a key value pair. It returns a Flutter widget, which is going to appear on top of the game screen. 
the key that you defined is dashboard overlay. So something that we just made up. So let's just make sure that everything's running real quick. And then in the onload method, this is where you can add the overlay onto the game system. So you can define different maps. And to add the overlay, it's overlays.add. And there's a string, which is the name of the key, which is the, that is the widget uh, that will call up the widget that will display it as overlay. It's actually viewable all the way on the left. Most of it's not viewable because the font color by default is black. And there's that black column or that black band on the left hand side of the screen. So within the flutter row, we can set the main axis alignment and we're going to center the main axis alignment. So this is centering that string magic. As the overlay are flutter widgets, we can apply any of the styling, the padding. We can apply the styles to the text, same as you would in a normal flutter text widget. So if you're familiar with Flutter, and I'm assuming you are if you're using Flame, you can now apply the Flutter text style. We'll increase the font size to 20. And we'll create some variables so that we can get the magic level. After creating the magic level integer variable within the main.dart file, let's go back to the dashboard and modify the constructor so that we can start reading in the game. The overlay builder map will pass the entire game over to the function uh, in the value portion of the key key value. So if we modify the constructor for the dashboard to accept the game, we should have all the properties of the game within the dashboard. Using string interpolation, we can now get the magic level, which is the integer. We're going to increment it every time it hits a gem into the overlay system so that we can use this as a type of score. To actually access the game here, uh, we'll need to create a final variable up at the top of the class. And then when it reads it in, in the uh, constructor, we'll assign it to the, the variable game. So it will just be required this dot game as a shortcut. When the character Lena hits the gem, there is a collision and we can detect the collision from the, from within the system and increment the magic level at the time of collision between Lena and the gem. Let's go over to the gem dot dart file within the actors folder and look for the portion where there's a collision right at that point there's a collision let's increment the magic level from within the gem.dart file whenever the variable is changed and you want to change it on the overlay you also have to use the overlays dot notify listeners to tell the overlay to update. So game ref .overlays .notify listeners, And you just add this line every time you change a variable that you want to see reflected on the overlay system. Let's give it a shot. If it works, we'll Add some additional features such as a timer countdown. So that she has a certain time limit. Boom, it looks like it's working. Boom, so that was the three, four. Okay, it's working fantastic. So stay on the lookout for the 
next video where we'll finish uh, this portion of it. Which we'll add uh, some type of countdown timer. So maybe she'll have 30 seconds, for example, to get through this portion of the game. And that will be, uh, a, we'll use a metaphor for a power or charge capacity of the hoverboard. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.